has a magnetic closure at the front so it stays closed when you need it to. Opening it up, start stitching all the way around so nice nice finish here. And you can have the screen at any angle that you want, in the vertical if you want or a little bit lower down either way. Um, the keyboard itself has a plastic or rubber finish over the top so that it's protected against dust and flash proof so it makes it great for traveling and you know when you're carrying it around it keeps the keyboard safe. Um, I'll just try to have it there. Right, you can use this section here, you can use it as a palm rest or if you prefer you can fold it underneath so you know, it's a bit more upright. So it's whichever you prefer, I'd rather have it down here personally. Um, once the iPad is in place, you can turn it on using this little power switch here, turn the keyboard on and to sync it up, just like any other Bluetooth device really, uh, go to the Bluetooth menu and it will search for the device, it will select that, it will pick up as the Bluetooth wireless keyboard, click on it, it will come up with a passcode to explain, so you type in the passcode, which is different every time, press enter, and there it is, the device is fully connected, now the battery life is about 90 hours, give or take, so it's not going to run out of battery anytime soon and um, that's how you connect it and now it's a fully functioning keyboard alright just showing you a few features of having a separate bluetooth keyboard here what you normally do if you type on an ipad is you have the arm swing keyboard up so let me swing it up here um, it does take up half the screen so if you only get that much of the screen when you're typing it so it's not very much and you do end up poking the screen a lot so uh, it's, it's okay but Generally, I think I, I can't really touch type on that. So I might get rid of this on screen keyboard using the shortcuts here. So let's control F5 on the stylo icon here. All these other shortcut keys as well. So you can control the volume, you can mute it if you want. It's got some media control. So when you're listening to music or something, you skip track, pause it. And it's got the iPad menu button here, which is just the same thing as that button. Alright, so basically, I find it a lot easier to touch type on this because it's got a full keyboard with actual you know, tactile keys. So type in something like it's not it's much it's much quicker. So if you're typing a lot, then uh, it's much much easier. I find it's much easier than typing on the on-screen keyboard. Um, these other shortcut keys they just around the keyboard as well. So it's got a skip to. So if you have here, you don't need to mute this to scroll if you're already typing so um, you can hold the control button which you know, page up page down here you can also skip to the end of the line using left and right key you can skip two words using the alt button as well if you, you don't want to go to the end of the line and um, yeah there's basically it's just a lot more user friendly I find than having um, an on screen keyboard plus you get the whole screen when you're typing which makes it a lot easier um, yeah once you turn off the keyboard, it, when you turn it back on it automatically syncs again so there's no fiddling about, it's just a one time setup and it just makes life a lot easier on the iPad.